This is it, guys. Uh, tomorrow's my way in. Um, 2.14. It's late. It's 8.49 p.m. Yeah, so I'm assuming I've had six cups of white rice. No, sorry, five cups of white rice today. I have another three to go. Uh, I'm assuming for the weigh-ins, I'll probably be around 2.14. So definitely not a super heavy. Um, but a very, very, very tight very tight uh, heavyweight uh, and uh, very lean so I'm impressed with myself uh, overall we'll wait to see how I dial in tomorrow morning usually I wake up and I'm pretty good so uh, I'm gonna take it easy on the carb up but it's I think at this point I don't need much but I don't think I'll spill over if I have too much, so it's a gamble. Um, I may carb up ag aggressively um, so I can get this look, um, you know, get on stage for like 215, 216, carb up really well. So that's how it's going to be. Um, see that? Front relaxes. is looks silly when I uh, front relax with this arm up, side tricep, also looks silly because you can't really do it, um, my rear poses, rear relax, yeah. I realize I don't have my trunks on, I, it would be ideal if I had my trunks, but I'll leave that to the show tomorrow. You guys will get some shots. Uh, hopefully somebody will be able to take some shots. So that's it. Last uh, last vlog till my show. Then I got some big things happening. Got a photo shoot coming up for, it's called um, Freaky Ripped or, or Crazy Ripped. It's a company based out of Toronto. Um, I'm going to be one of their athletes, so I'm excited. Um, more to come on that. All right, take care guys. And uh, until next week, I'll probably post something about that. Later. I wanted to add this to the video before I close off my vlogs before the show. Um, for all of you who have been kind of following me through this journey, uh, I want to thank whoever has watched um, and I hope you get a better understanding of what a bodybuilder does up until the show or up until weigh-ins. Um, I know I didn't give you the video where I was to tell you uh, what you needed to do as a bodybuilder, especially a bodybuilder in Ontario. Uh, I may itemize a list still and do that when I'm done. Last week I didn't uh, really post any videos because I've been so busy with the prep. Um, uh, my friend, uh, my best friend, pretty much from from uh, well, he's in Toronto now. Came down yesterday, uh, so we were kind of busy, and he was following me around, and it was nice because he's the guy that got me into uh, lifting and bodybuilding. Uh, he gave me my first Arnold book, the Arnold Encyclopedia, when we were in uh, university. Uh, and uh, you know he was into lifting back when we were growing up too and his dad was a, a bigger guy too so anyways Paul if you're watching um, it was cool to have you come along uh, today and yesterday uh, and uh, thanks for uh, getting me into it and uh, I also wanted to give a shout out to uh, Jerome Jerome uh, if you do watch these I don't know if you do but if you have um, thanks dude for everything you've done um, and you were my inspiration to get into bodybuilding um, and uh, you know big things in the work for you uh, and uh, you know, I look forward to uh, you know making it uh, making it helping you out and you making it and uh, you know just as uh, bodybuilders and as you w always uh, say you want to do and just get huge get huge and I can't wait uh, to see you know us progress together um, and to uh, Tony who I've used uh, for diet and whatnot this year and uh, no regrets uh, for the help from Tony uh, you've really dialed me in uh, and uh, I'm going to the show and I feel really really good about uh, my look uh, this year uh, I think uh, it's very similar to um, uh, one of the, the the competitors in Ottawa, his name's Tom, and he would always come in full. He was like um, more of my my build, um, so it's it's better for me to kind of 
carb aggressively, I think, and that's what I've been doing this time around. Um, so that being said, not much left to say. Uh, that being said, not much left to say. I'm really brain dead when I shoot these videos. I'm always uh, in a state of kind of a haze because uh, because I just finished uh, Stairmaster or something and I'm in my car. Um, but that's that's about it. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, as I was saying, got a photo shoot coming, um, depending on the weather, I guess. But uh, it will be for a company called Crazy Ripped. Uh, there's an athletic apparel company starting up in Toronto. Um, so I really want to thank Reuben for the opportunity to uh, be, be an athlete and I guess I'm at this point the only male they have uh, doing the shoot. Um, so I'll be on the website once it launches um, and uh, looking forward to working with them. Uh, that's about it for now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed these and uh, I'll probably follow up next week, maybe get some shots of Coburg. Uh, who knows? We'll see. Uh, we'll see what I can get. If not, then uh, thanks for watching, guys.